Hey everybody, for uh, those who've been following along, we're gonna try doing things a little differently. I've tried starting a website, tried starting an app. It doesn't really seem like people are responding too well to it, so we are. I'm gonna try to do a YouTube channel instead. Something that'd be a little easier for people to digest. You know, people aren't quite used to reading articles, newspapers that much anymore. So it's a lot easier just to listen to a five, ten minute video on YouTube as to, you know, what's exactly going on around town. Just something that's really quick and easy to keep up to date. So I think we're gonna go that route instead. See how you guys like it. You know, maybe it's a little easier for you to, you know, digest the information on a weekly basis rather than having to scroll through a, you know, two to three hundred page article. Um, realize that that's kind of like a harder route to go on, especially with things going more digital nowadays. So we're gonna try this instead. Uh, we'll see how you guys like it. I'll try to do it about once to twice a month, depending on how often the news is going on around town. You know, city council meetings, school board meetings, uh, events, stuff that's going on with things like that. So anyway, before we get started, just subscribe to the channel. That way uh, I could, you know, keep in touch with you guys a little easier. And you can find me a little easier and different news going on around town. So, all right. So moving on, there is not going to be any movies in the park this week, as well as the music in the park. This is just due to the 4th of July going on, you know, not to interfere with anything else that might be going on. So... Yeah, but it will be continuing next week with the Music in the Park being the Monsanto band. Uh, it should be, I believe they're high energy Latin music is what it says. So if that's your type of thing, it starts at 7.30 at the Veterans Memorial Park. As well as the movies in the park this week being, or next week, being the Cool Runnings. And that should be about the Jamaican bobsledding team that went to the Winter Olympics. And that, the movies in the park start up after dark. So if you and your family don't have anything planned, you know, it's a nice little thing. Just kind of get out in the community, sit under the stars, and just kind of enjoy a movie with everyone. So, but moving along to the city, we have the pavement rehabilitation project that the city is uh, starting up, I believe, yeah, June 13th. And it's going to be targeting the 6th, 7th, and 8th Street. This is going to be going from the Robertson to Humboldt area, as well as the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th Street on Trinity and Orange Avenue. Um, there's a map, little map kind of outlined in the post. It's gonna consist of concrete construction and replacement, things such as like sidewalks, curb, driveways, that type of thing. Um, so if there is any kind of like obstructions kind of in the public space, the city has said that they will uh, remove it if it does, in, if it does like impede on uh, construction. And it also said during this time there may be also limitations to parking. So keep that in mind if you start seeing the if you start seeing the construction in your area, you know just uh, you know be wary. Aside from that, the city is also doing a corridor plan. I believe this is to help with the you know, construction of Robertson Boulevard. They are doing a survey. Uh, it shows the website ChachillaCorridorPlan.com. And they're just doing a quick survey, just kind of get an idea of what everyone wants to, you know, see kind of happen. They are going to also have meetings as well. That's going to be in September. They don't really have a set date yet, but they are going to have follow-up meetings as things kind of go along. So that way they can get community feedback as to how to proceed and, you know, what the community is wanting to, you know, want to see kind of improve on town. So, you know, be sure to take the survey, check it out if you guys want to, you know, have more of a voice on what's actually going on with the, prog with the uh, plan itself. And as far as like community meetings going on these next couple weeks, we have the city council meeting that's going on on the 9th, as well as the Coffee with the Cop going on the following Tuesday at the 16th. So if you guys haven't been a part of either one, Coffee with the Cop is a really interesting way to, you know, kind of just talk with the police chiefs, the city council members, you know, if you have any kind of problems with the town that you want to have voiced or if you kind of just want to see what's kind of going on as far as what the town does have planned. You know, having gone to a couple of them myself, you know, it's, it, it's interesting to kind of sit down with them and just kind of talk and just kind of voice things. Sometimes it gets kind of intense to where, you know, you have these interesting conversations about problems going on in the community and other times it's just really relaxed where people just grab a cup of coffee and kick back, so... If you have the time, I believe the Coffee with the Cop usually starts around like 9 a.m. And I believe this this next meeting is going to be at McDonald's. Uh, the city council meetings happen at night, and I believe usually about like 6 p.m. So 
city council meetings is more you know formal whereas the coffee with the cop is kind of more relaxed uh you know it's 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 just kicking back and drinking coffee with them so and anyway, coming up there's also a couple of um there's also a couple new community members within the uh chamber of commerce so starting off we have uh the sign guys as well as the innovative construction electric and they're new to the Chamber of Commerce. I, I can't quite remember the sign guys. I thought I heard about them. I don't. Know, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything without um, really knowing. But you know, the Innovative Electric. It's you know, it's the build, the right building. You know, the Prosperity Boulevard. So anyway, so now going on to some of the jobs going around town. Um, you know, there's new. There's new community service officers and dispatchers that the police are looking to hire. So if you guys are, if that's kind of your area, you know, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for these and the other uh, job opportunities, you know, just in case you're looking for something new. The um, school, there's also an agricultural teacher for the uh, Chowchilla FFA, I believe. So there's the Chowchilla FFA ag teacher. Uh, a tennis coaching position. And I thought I saw somewhere about a assistant principal. Um, again, for these, I'll leave a link in the description. If you're interested in any of the positions, check it out. They're all job postings from just like a couple days ago. So most of them should be open if, um, should be open from the uh, time of the posting of this video. Anyway, moving on to the events in town. We have starting off, we have the car show that should be going on next month. Uh, registration is starting now. So if you guys are interested in taking part in that. Uh, be sure to sign up. I believe I saw a post on the Chambers page about them still seeking donations for the raffle. I may be wrong on that, but, you know, if you guys uh, feel full, like, you know, helping out, giving a little bit to it, uh, you know, just kind of help them out uh, for the raffle. Um, it should, it's starting not till Saturday the 21st. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, September the 21st. Um, so it's not for a while away, but, you know, for those that are participating in it, you know, a little bit of a heads up. But happening, I believe, in the next couple of days is going to be the, oh, no, no, tomorrow, sorry, or two days. There's going to be the Chowchilla Golds Volleyball Club, and they're going to have, they're going to put, they're going to be put, the Chowchilla Golds Volleyball Club, they're going to be putting on a grass volleyball tournament. Uh, that's going to be happening earlier in the morning, 8.15 is going to be the registration start. It's going to go until like 8.45 with the actual games not starting until about 9 a.m., so. Uh, you know, be sure to check that out. Yeah, there is cash prizes for those who do win. So you do have an opportunity to kind of, you know, make a little money, you know, you have a chance to make a little bit of money. If you want to check that out, that's going to be happening at Ed Ray at Ed Ray Park. But also continuing on the uh, Chachilla Lions Club is also going to be setting off uh, fireworks this Saturday. So it is free uh, admission parking. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and it's going to be opening up at 7 p.m. So if you didn't have it a chance to celebrate the 4th of July, you know, going on today or, you know, you had work or something like that, you weren't able to just celebrate with your family. You know, that's a great opportunity to you know, just kind of sit back, enjoy some fireworks, you know, have a beer or two. So, you know, me, myself, I'll probably be attending this. It just seems, you know, it just seems like a good time, you know, and it's not really much to do on a Saturday. So might as well. But uh, moving along, we do have the How Dinner coming up this Monday. For those of you who are unaware what How is, it's Helping One Woman. And it's it's an organization just dedicated to helping out one woman in need per month. So it's a really interesting organization, organization actually. I believe they started off in the Central Valley. And they kind of started spreading to cross state lines, I believe, now. I believe they're in several other states. But all it is is... You know, the people get together and they kind of vote on someone they see as someone in need. And from there, they host a dinner kind of in their honor to help raise money for them. So it's something that I've been to a couple times and I really like the premise behind it. You know, just helping out one person, making sure they're taken care of when they're going through, you know, hard times, especially people who have given so much to the community. Um, so this month is going to be Christy Carter. And I'll leave a link in the description for those who 
you know, want to check out more of the story. But uh, she has been having trouble with her daughter identifying some medical issues. And she has been very helpful in the community, outside of the community as well, in being involved in missionaries as well as other community service services. So, you know, show your support on Monday. You know, if you're free, you know, come out. It's at 6 p.m. It's about $30 per person. And I think it's like $20 for dinner, but, you know, and then $10 minimum goes to her. But if you guys can't make it either, um, you can still help help out uh, by making payment directly to the How organization. Um, you can check out their Facebook page if you want to figure out, you know, how to get a hold of them. Or I believe uh, it's at the bottom of the uh, post I have pulled up here. So, And finally, we have the uh, Reptile Show going on at the uh, Chachilla Library. So this, I believe, was just posted, I believe, today. Um, it's going to be next week on Thursday. It's going to be earlier in the day, 11 a.m. to 12 to noon, pretty much. Um, I do not have much information as far as what exactly this pertains to, but I'll post more on the Facebook page to keep you guys up to date. It just kind of popped up, so I you know, figured that I would, uh, I figured I'd mention it. Then moving on, we got the uh, sports. So, you know, with it being summer, there isn't quite as much going on. Um, starting off, the soccer registration has closed off. So if you haven't signed up your, you know, your children for soccer, it has passed up, unfortunately. Uh, this also includes the camp for those born in 2015. So hopefully you got them signed up in time. Um now, the Chowchilla Lightning softball team is also holding a 50-50 raffle. It's up to $10,000. I believe it's like a first, second, and third prize winners. And that's going to be taking place the August 10th and 11th. If you guys do want to take part in that, uh, you could buy tickets from any anyone on the team. So, you know, track down the uh, nearest softball player that you can. And, you know, be sure to buy a ticket and help support the uh, softball club. With that in mind, the uh, Athletic Foundation is actually looking for new members, or not looking for new members, uh, membership is opening up. So if you do want to take part in that, the membership forms are available, as well as you could uh, find it on their Facebook page, the Athletic Foundation, if you guys want to take more part as well in that. Um, but moving on to actual games, we do have uh, the All-Star team for the 5070 has actually just won their Northern, it's actually won Northern California Section 7. So, you know, the, anyway, so moving on, the All-Star, the 5070 All-Star team has actually just won their championship game the other day. So what this is going to mean is they're moving on to a new bracket. I believe it, and I believe they're going to be playing in Delta on Saturday, I believe it is. They're going to be playing at the middle school over there. And I actually got the bracket pulled up right here. So this is going to be the new bracket for the intermediate division, the 5070 intermediate division. And let's see, they are right here. So they're going to be playing Tracy uh, at 5 p.m. So it is going to be, you know, neutral field. So it is going to be at Delta Sierra. So if you guys have the chance to make it out there, you know, it's, it means everything to the kids to be able to see all, you know, more support for them. So, um, all right. And finally in sports, we have the 5070 all-star champions. Ugh. Okay. So moving on in sports, the 5070 all-stars have just beaten Porterville for the win. It was actually a pretty sound beating of 12 to one. So, you know, great job for the kids. And that means that they're going to move on to the NorCal State Intermediate Division or Intermediate uh, Bracket. So they'll be playing, I believe the first team they're going to be playing is going to be Tracy. So as you can see on the right here, and that's going to be on Saturday, July 6th. And that won't start until about uh, 5 p.m. So if you guys happen to be in the area or you want to go and support, you know, it means a lot to them. Support. You know, a lot of these all-star games can be real nail biters, so you know they're pretty interesting to uh, check out from time to time. I know as a child, you know, 
I spent a lot of time watching my brothers play. I was never really good at it myself, but it's always interesting to watch a close baseball game. So. And uh, as far as sports go, I would really like to uh, be able to cover it a little more closely. You know, do a little more in-depth as far as the coverage that I get with the upcoming uh, season coming out. Football, uh, volleyball, that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping to have something going to where I could get a little bit more information to you guys a little bit quicker. So maybe do some live stream, something like that. I'm still kind of working through it. But... But as far as that goes, uh, that kind of wraps it up for this week. So as far as that goes, that kind of wraps it up for this week. Um, let me know how it is. I know the video quality is probably a little lower. I don't really have a wet cam, really don't have a, you know, a mic or anything. So the quality, I apologize for the quality being a little low. But you know, leave me your feedback, what you guys would like to see, what you guys, you know, what I can improve on. You know, just things that could kind of help me kind of work things out a little easier. But anyway, I appreciate the time, guys. Uh, I'll see you either next week or the week after. Anyway, so closing things up, um, you know, this first time doing it, so I don't really have a webcam, don't really have a mic, kind of just, uh, you know, feeling things out right now. But uh, so leave me feedback, how you think you get better, how you think you could do it or better suit your guys' needs, what you guys like to see as far as news, events, and that type of thing. Um, you know, if you guys like to see what's going on more within like the town hall meetings, the, uh, you know, city council meetings, the you know, what's going on in the schools, that type of thing. Just let me know what kind of news you guys would like to hear more about. Um, other than that, uh, follow more on Facebook. Uh, as things go on, you know, throughout during the week, I'll probably post some more toward more on Facebook. So follow us on Facebook. And other than that, uh, I appreciate the time, guys. And I'll see you next week or the week after. All right. Bye. Okay, so moving on in sports. The 50-70... All-Stars had just beaten Porterville for the win. It was actually a pretty sound beating of 12 to 1. So, you know, great job for the kids. And that means that they're going to move on to the NorCal State Intermediate Division or Intermediate uh, Bracket. So they'll be playing, I believe the first team they're going to be playing is going to be Tracy. So as you can see them the right here. And that's going to be on Saturday, July 6th. And that won't start until about uh, 5 p.m. So... If you guys happen to be in the area or you want to go and support, you know, a lot of these all-star games can be real nail biters. So, you know, they're pretty interesting to uh, check out from time to time. I know as a child, you know, I spent a lot of time watching my brothers play. I was never really good at it myself, but it's always interesting to watch a close baseball game. So closing things up, um, you know, this first time doing it. So I don't really have a webcam, don't really have a mic, kind of just, uh, you know, feeling things out right now. But uh, so leave me feedback, how you think you get better, how you think you could do it or better suit your guys' needs, what you guys like to see as far as news, events, and that type of thing. Um, you know, if you guys like to see what's going on more within like the town hall meetings, the, uh, you know, city council meetings, the, you know, what's going on in the schools, that type of thing. Just let me know what kind of news you guys would like to hear more about. Um, other than that, uh, follow more on Facebook uh, as things go on. You know, throughout during the week, I'll probably post some more toward more on Facebook. So follow us on Facebook. And other than that, uh, I appreciate the time, guys. And I'll see you next week or the week after.